Good morning, everybody. And um, firstly, um, thank you very much, Nicholas, for your kind remarks. And thank you to you and your team, Annie, and, and the other uh, Capital Link team for inviting me to, uh, to say a few words here. It is indeed a, um, an amazing turnout. And uh, I think uh, I'd like to also just uh, to say welcome to our friends from overseas. There are many, many familiar faces here um, who've come to, to Singapore Maritime Week. I, I always want to point out that Maritime Week, uh, we were actually the first in Singapore to do it. And uh, now, as the saying goes, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. And uh, there are Maritime Weeks all over the world. But ours was um, at least the, the first. I'd also um, particularly like to mention Tan Beng Ti. I don't know whether she's arrived yet, but um, Beng Ti was rightly described recently as the first lady of Singapore shipping. I think this is a very apt description of a person who has more than any others um, helped put Singapore on the map through her uh, incredible commitment, drive, and passion, uh, her travel around the world to, to sell the, the, the Singapore proposition, uh, and she really is the, the, the single biggest um, factor in this, in this regard. Um, this is the first time for Capital Link to, to come to Singapore and, and, well, as I already said, what an, what an amazing start and what an amazing turnout. More than 50 speakers, uh, panelists spanning owners from both the tankers, dry bulk container, LPG, big and small, charters, traders, bankers, research, insurance, unions, association representatives, lawyers, capital markets, ship managers, leasing companies, offshore players and government representatives. I hope I haven't missed any, but I think it certainly shows the amazing breadth of uh, speakers that, that we will have and panelists. Um, so be it a first time or not, um, what a start, and I, I don't know whether you can replicate this in the future and make it even bigger, but we, we certainly hope so. Um, in a moment, we're going to um, have the, the um, <clears throat> benefit of listening to Martin Stopford, who I think Everyone in this room, barring perhaps the odd millennial, may not have heard of, but I think everybody else have. Um, his insights are always, um, uh, to say the least, insightful. He, um, he has been in shipping for 50 years, so compared to him, I'm just a pup, because I've only been in it 47, but anyway, I'm catching him up. Um, I was um, actually, apropos uh, Martin, I was asked by a journalist recently uh, why is it that you people in shipping, you go on about how difficult everything is, you have so much regulation, you're so commercially challenged, you're so uh, plagued by overcapacity, and why do you actually, why do, you actually do it? And I, I did think for a second, that's probably a, a good question, but it reminded me of an answer that, um, that Martin gave during uh, the Maritech conference in Shanghai last uh, November, I think it was, when he said, well, everybody loves ships, and um, me included, and I think most of the people in this room uh, do love ships and do love the industry. We have uh, some super interesting experts today um, who are going to cover, as I say, many topics. Uh, as an industry, we do face a lot of uh, problems. Uh, well, they, today they're called challenges. I, I think you can also call them problems, but anyway, commercial, regulatory, and very rapidly changing technology. But I really believe that um, we're always told that we're very change resistant and very conservative and, and uh, that we need a Steve Jobs or a Mark Zuckerberg to come in here and disrupt us. Um, uh, and that without that, we're going to be really sort of st stuck in the mud. But actually, I I'm not really so sure about that because I, as we discussed yesterday at this, um, at the um, afternoon conference, the, the, there are a lot of young people coming into this business and many of them probably do see uh, opportunities to so-called disrupt. I, I personally think that disruption is a wrong word. I see it more as opportunity. I think there is a lot of scope for change in our industry and technology offers young people the chance to, to, to do that. So I'm, I'm actually um, very optimistic that we can, to use this word, sex up our industry to make it more appealing to the young people um, and to, to have them come in and, and help us do things in new ways that we don't do today. And I am, on that note, also very confident that shipping's contribution to world trade and, and um, 
free markets and and and, and so on is I, I think it's shipping's contribution is is absolutely tremendous to globalization not everybody thinks uh, um, including our friend in, in the White House that globalization is necessarily a good thing I personally do think it's a good thing and I think shipping's contribution uh, is there for all to see I think going back to the days that nation states or nations began trading with each other shipping contribution has has uh, made um, a major impact and a major contribution. So on that slightly positive note, um, I would like to hand over and uh, finally just say that um, apropos of the young people, good jobs, good jobs is what we want, right? In shipping, and we're gonna make shipping great again, great again. <clears throat> Actually, it already is great, but we're gonna make it greater. Thank you very much.